Have you ever felt like you were being tested? Like every turn something happens and you're just like, am I being punked? Like, is this for real? This day and time, I'm leaning on know when to hold them and when to fold them. In other words, do you want to be right or do you want to be at peace? This point in my life, I want peace. So a lot of things that I want to say, I hold back on because I know that if I were completely transparent about what's in here and what's in here and it came out of here, I would lose certain relationships. I am being so tested lately and today is one of those days. I'm at the YMCA. I love coming here. There's a class that does aquatics and there are older women. And so I go to use the restroom. There was a lady on her way back to the separate restrooms where it's just one person. Now I have GI issues and so I need privacy because when I finally do get up and everything starts moving, I gotta go. And if I don't go when I feel like I need to go, then I have to wait hours and hours until I can go again because that's how my body works. And so these old ladies are done with their aquatics. Two of the three are filled. I walk past her. She's in the way. I stop, let her adjust herself so that I could politely pass her. She goes, oh, okay. And I walk past, excuse me, ma'am. I go, two are occupied. One is not. I take the one. She was obviously going to that one. But like I said, I have issues. I need to get this taken care of or else I'm not going to have a good workout because I'm full. I'm in there using the restroom and I could hear her say, people don't have no consideration these days. Well, first she said, um, first she said, oh, she beat me to it. She beat me to it. Then I guess she starts to get angry and indignant about the situation. And she says, people just don't have no consideration these days. And one of the other old ladies said, what'd you say now? People just don't have no consideration these days. So I'm sitting there. I go number one. And I did have to go number two. But at this point, me hearing all that, now I've got the anxiety again because I know she's standing there and she's talking shit, no pun intended. So I can't even go anymore. So I thought to myself, no, you're going to sit your ass here until you calm down so that you can go and you can have a good workout. And I said, you know what? No, she's an elder. I'm going to just wipe and go so that she can get her ass in here and let her handle her business. But let me tell you something. I had all kinds of things in my head that I wanted to say. I wanted to confront her. But I knew that it wouldn't be right because in that moment I was emotional and I knew what I was going to say would not have come off the way that it should have. It would have been lacking all kind of humility, any type of patience, any kind of kindness. None of the fruits of the spirit would have came out in that conversation. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to humble myself. I'm going to drop the ego and I'm just going to let it go. So I flushed, I washed my hands and I walked out and I continued to have my exercise and thank God um, me still having a full stomach didn't impede me from having a good workout. I still burned the calories I wanted to burn and I still had the energy to finish my workout. Sometimes we have to figure out what's best for you. I know in that moment, it probably would have felt good to tell an old lady off, but listen, I love old people. My grandmother and my grandpa were some of the, were, were my most favorite people in the whole wide world. And because I respect them and I want people to treat them a certain way, I have to in turn be that way towards other people. So I let it go. I let it go, but I was stewing. And you know what? The frustration I had for this old lady, I used it in my workout. So I'm learning to channel negative energy into something positive that's going to benefit me. Now, my blood pressure is a little bit lower and I probably burned a little bit more calories than I would have if I was able to use the bathroom and didn't have that interaction with her. So, I mean, at the end of the day, people, we got to pick our battles. We got to figure out what's important, what's not important. I'm learning every single day to drop my ego, be more humble. And sometimes being more humble just means pssst, shutting it up, closing the trap and keep it moving. And I think that's how I'm gonna be blessed today.